Hello, this is Lance, and please don't mind the background noise. It's probably the TV. And this is how to take care of a white tree frog. To start off with <coughs> is the water, which is starting to get dirty. The temperature, which is where it should be, around, let's see. 70. It should be around 70. They really like leaves. I'm moving this out of the way so you, I can show you. Lazy butt frog, which is right here. Come on, girl. Yeah, she doesn't really like it. Get off me. Here, why don't you soak around in your water? There. Soap strip should be moist and wet and or wet, which it's not. It's starting to get dry. The significance of the... Well, this is just that... <coughs> I heard that they need part they want like perches, but she never uses it. And their tank must be secure from escaping crickets, because that's basically what you have to feed it. And this is the perfect type of lid. I put duct tape on it to keep the moisture on there. And that's basically it for how to take care of a white tree frog. Moving over, here's how to take care of a leopard gecko. These lazy butts right there. With their water, it should be full at, in the dish, and it's not. It's about halfway. Their, well, their temperature should be... In in the mid 80s, they you should never give like baby crusties. I mean baby leopards. But keep on mixing crusties and leopards. Okay, leopards should only have sand. When they're adults, you have to use reptile carpet if they're babies or juveniles. She's about mm, two years, pushing three. She's an old girl. She's cute too. They're high. Your tail, crazy. Should be. Big enough to where they can easily run in and run out, and not too tiny to where they'll get stuck. Because that's the biggest problem, is them, them cramming themselves in, so them getting themselves stuck, but I have the eggshell forever. For heating, you need a regular heating pad, 10 gallon. I just use a Tupperware tub because it's incredibly cheap. To make a cover for the Tupperware tub, you need to cut out a good portion of the tub. Yeah, basically that much. Get a thin enough mesh where the crickets can't get out. And duct tape it to this. And for added heat, you need a infrared light. The... White's tree frog does not need any alternative heating except for basically a regular house heater. They're not really a heat sensitive frog. This is just where I keep my crickets, my moss for my frog, and distilled water. You have to use distilled water, no exceptions, basically. 
dust it dust you need tweezers because when you're feeding your crusty my I mean your leopard geckos and your frog frogs for the first time you really want to keep your hands away from their mouths because you don't want them associating your mouth, your fingers with food at all, period.